Motor City, what's going on? It's your boy, T. Back at it again with another episode of Talking With T. Let's get into it. Let's get after it, man. On this channel, we talk about Detroit sports and we chase down the best version of ourselves. If that interests you, do me a favor and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel grow and get in the algorithm. And I really appreciate you for taking the time out of your day to watch me. So let's dive right in the video, man. Let's all take a deep breath, Motor City. It's all right. We know we lost the draft lottery last night. It bums me out because I really wanted the Pistons to go back to back and repeat and get the number one pick because I thought that would have been huge for us moving forward. I was already picturing the 30 for 30 down the road when the Pistons are winning cha championships with Cade and whoever the Pistons got right now. But that's not going to happen. That was just a fantasy in my head. Now we fall out of the top three and we fall to the top five. But what are we really missing out on? Are the Pistons missing out on anything or is it okay that we fell to number five? I don't know, so let's talk about it in the video right now. Here we go. What are the Pistons missing out on? We're missing out on the top three prospects in this draft. I think the top three prospects are gonna be really special in this league, but I don't really don't think they're gonna be as good as Cade Cunningham. Cade, winning the draft lottery last year was way more beneficial than winning the draft lottery this year. I really think Cade's gonna be a superstar in this league. I really think he's gonna be the MVP of this league one day if injuries do not derail his career. So what players are the Pistons missing out on? First player that the Pistons are really missing out on is Jabari Smith. This is the guy who I wanted the Pistons to draft if they won the lottery or if they were the number two pick. I think Jabari Smith is going to be the better, uh, uh, the best of the three players I'm about to mention right here. Jabari Smith is a 6'10". Uh, guy who can score at will. He's got an elite jump shot. He can drive, dunk, make explosive plays for his team. He plays with a high motor. I would have loved to have him paired up with Cade Cunningham, but we missed out on that. He's probably going to go number one to the Orlando Magic. But the number two player that the Pistons missed out on is Chet Holgram. Big guy, skinny, which is really why I didn't want the Pistons to draft him. He might even fall because of it. I doubt he falls because, according to the expert, he's he plays a lot tougher than he actually looks. His physique is just too skinny for me. I didn't want. I wanted the Pistons to stay far away from him, but he's probably going to go number two, and that's who the Pistons are missing out on. Number three, the third player that the Pistons are missing out on, but one of the top prospects in this draft is Paolo Boncaro, the, one of the star players from the national champion runner-up team, Duke. He was. So he averaged 17 points per game. He's just a scorer. He plays with a lot of energy. He's big. He he just would have paired up well with Cade. And that's those are the three players that the Pistons are missing out on. And that's why people are saying that we lost the NBA Draft Lottery. Now, let's look at this. If these players are as good as what the experts are hyping them up to be, and if the Pistons really fall in love with these prospects, you know what you could do if these Jeremy Grant rumors are true, package the number five pick and Jeremy Grant and trade up and get a number get the number one pick and maybe get another pick or get a role player that's on his way coming up if you wanted to move up but I think we're fine staying packed I don't think any of these players are like a Cade Cunningham sweet sticks they were saying last year when we won the Cade Cunningham sweet sticks that Cade Cunningham was one of the most complete prospects since LeBron James was coming out of the draft. So I'm cool with us falling to number five because right now what I think is very important for the Pistons is finding a prospect that would be a sidekick to Cade Cunningham. Find Cade his Robin because Cade Cunningham is like Batman. So find Cade Cunningham his Robin. You got to find a prospect that's going to be okay with sharing the ball with Cade. You guys are going to be both number one scoring options. So you got to have good chemistry these two i would have Cade sitting in every uh meeting with all these prospects just to see how they would pair up with each other is this guy going to pair up well with Cade? because Cade is the guy Cade is the guy we're building this team around so let's find Cade is robin let's find Cade his sidekick and who are these players that could be his sidekick at number five keegan murray uh forward from iowa pure scorer average 23 points per game in the Big Ten last year, which is very impressive. Big Ten plays a lot of defense. Big Ten is tough basketball, and he scored 23 points per game last year. He also set the record in the Big Ten championship or Big Ten tournament last year, was scoring so many points through four games, the most points scored in the Big Ten tournament. That's pretty impressive. And then you got another Big Ten guard, Jaden Ivey. Everyone wants Jaden Ivey now that the Pistons fell out of the top three, even when the Pistons were in the top three. There's rumors that the Pistons could even take Jaden Ivey with the number two or number three pick. Jaden Ivey's an explosive athlete. He, while every game he's trying to show how explosive he is, it kind of 
reminds me of a John Morant, which is kind of scary because John Morant doesn't stay on the ground. He's always getting banged up. I would I would love to have Jaden Ivey. I think he would be like a spark plug for our team moving forward. And I think he would be the perfect sidekick for Cade Cunningham. And then you got the number one overall recruit who didn't play a game at Kentucky last year. But it reminds me of uh, Kyrie Irving when he was at Duke. Kyrie only played a couple games at Duke, but when he came out of the draft, he was the best player out of that draft class. He could Shadane Sharp could be. He just didn't play a game, so maybe it's a blessing in disguise that he fell to number five if the Pistons decided to go that route. I think you should go guard and get you a shooting guard because the ideal offseason for me for the Detroit Pistons right now is getting you a getting Kid Cunningham a sidekick in the backcourt. Because who was our shooting guard last year? Um can't think of his freaking Killian Hayes, he's going to the bank. They keep him running off the bench. Ah, oh, God, dude, what's his name? Whatever. That, we don't have a prime shooting guard. So if you get a uh, Shadeen Sharp or Jaden Ivy, I'd, I'd be okay with that. But you got to get K to sidekick and then go all in and get DeAndre Ayton. I know you're going to have to offer him a max, but it's worth it. I think him and K, if we got... DeAndre Ayton, I think that would just accelerate this rebuild. And us losing the draft lottery does not mean we're not going to make the playoffs this year. I think the Pistons upside in Detroit is the highest right now. I think the Pistons are closest to winning the championship, and I believe in Troy Weaver. We're still going to get a prime player at number five, and we're probably going to get Jalen Brunson or uh, what's his name? Uh, DeAndre Ayton from the Sun. So I'm excited for this offseason. I'm excited to see what the Pistons do with the number five pick. And like I said, I don't really think we've lost the draft lottery. I think it's more of a blessing in disguise. But it's your boy T. Comment down below what you think. Did the Pistons get robbed? Did the Pistons, is it all right? Where are the Pistons are at right now? It's your boy T. Signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video.